What's up guys, we're at a brand new project in Wine Country Temecula. We have 7,000 square feet of grass about to come out as well as some giant bushes. That guy's coming out. We just want anything that's just way overgrown. Anything overgrown. Come out. These guys, they're okay. This guy, he's a little overgrown, but look at those flowers. So this guy's staying. But once we get to Xylosma, Red Tip Potinia, Privet, 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 Escalonia, Xylosma back here, Juniper, here we go. We like the coat of carpets. We like that coat of carpets. We like the carpets. And so out here, the backyard, there's going to be a pathway that wraps around all the way out here to a flagstone patio area here with a fire pit and a flat DG area over there. And we're gonna have a cornhole area right there. Looking cool. Planted. We have irrigation ran, it's on the timer. So now it's time to spread the mulch. This is the premium forest blend. Great stuff. Go four inches thick and it just breaks down and feeds our plants. What's up guys? We are in our completed wine country project backyard. Check out the pathways. Over here, this is for like cornhole. It's an official size area. And then you got the flagstone with the fire pit. More pathways. Lots of cool plants. These are just going to grow up and be looking really cool and really colorful in the next couple months. Another little decomposed granite patio extension area. And then we get around the side of the house. We have these mounded areas with the decomposed granite pathway. 
Golden Ferret. And we head into the front yard where we have the bioswale going under the pathway. We also have this little miniature three rivers right here. Bioswale under the pathway. Down and around. It actually goes all the way to the bottom. Oh, and this is also an olive tree farm. Bioswale all the way to the bottom. And then it's able to make its way out. And that is our Wine Country Temecula landscape project. Like and subscribe and have a swell day.